If you only had one year to live and you knew you had one year left, what would you do with that precious time? And you think about that for 10 seconds, man, is all it takes. And then the next question comes, why aren't you doing it now? My earliest conscious memory was when I was two and a half years old, laying in a hospital bed, watching my grandmother cry profusely as this doctor was teaching her how to give this little baby boy shots, insulin shots, because that would be the only thing that could sustain my life. They told her that I wouldn't probably live to be over 25 years old, and that if I did, I would lose my legs, more than likely have heart failure, my kidneys would quit, and I would go blind. And I did all of those things. When I was 35 years old, I was dying. I felt helpless to one thought. Sean, you're a dead man walking. It wouldn't stop. Type 1 diabetes had taken me to a place where they were ready to cut my feet off. My kidneys were in failure, and my chest was ready to blow out of me, literally. Not a minor heart attack, a massive coronary nuclear explosion. My doctor looked at me and he said, Sean, there are these drastic measures we can take with you, but I will really be surprised if your heart makes it another day, maybe a year, you're done. Two weeks later, in the midst of my death, I'd manifested my worst fear and a marriage of 13 years dissolved right in front of me. See, my greatest fear was raising my two beautiful daughters alone. And she left. And I stood there dying, holding these babies. And I was done. I hit the bottom. And I got mad. I got incredibly angry, a facet of diabetes. And I got bossy with that energy that created me. And I told it. Not only no, but hell no, I ain't leaving this place. I gotta raise these kids. They're my reason for being. So there I am, 35 dying, and I meet Theta Healing. And a miracle happened. And I had nothing to lose. I didn't believe in the foo-fooey stuff. That can't be real. If you can't see it, taste it, or feel it, it must not be real. So I went down that road. I dared to dip my toe into that light. And I went for it. Later, I met this lovely woman named Viana. And she showed me a different way. And she told me that I was experiencing what I was experiencing in life because of the way that I thought, felt, and acted within my free will. And that a lot of it was subconscious and I was so spiritually disconnected with myself that I was unaware of what I was even thinking. I'd fell victim to my own thoughts and it nearly killed me. I kept marching forward, I didn't give up. I kept doing the work. My life now, is a life of purpose, and I do nothing without purpose. Theta Healing taught me how to change my beliefs so that I could perceive my reality different, and it worked. The kidney failure that I was in turned around, and within three months I had perfect kidneys. The chest pains went away, and now I have perfect cholesterol. It's called Theta Healing because we found a series of visualizations that induce a physical Theta brainwave. And that brainwave is magical. That's where the magic happens. That's where that spark of God ignites within us when we touch that Theta brainwave as a doorway to that. With Theta Healing, you take a look at your life in a broad view and say, what sucks? This isn't cool. I'm not happy with that. Theta Healing taught me how to get in touch with those ideas or those beliefs and remove them quickly. And they stay gone. It's not a temporary fix. It's not a band-aid. 
It's the wound healed, free from any scar. Now for a millennia, people have been doing this through meditation. It gets you there, but not as deep. And it takes a few hours. And we figured out how to do it through a series of visualizations in 30 seconds. Now I love and honor any way that you can find that creative energy and tap into it. But I live in a fast paced world and there is a lot of things to do, a lot of desires I wish to fulfill. And I love the idea that we can do it in 30 seconds and see an instant manifestation in the changing of these beliefs through a power of witness. And anyone on the planet can do this. Now, not everybody wants to do it, but anyone can. It's our birthright to tap into this source of energy and co-create our lives. And we've all been doing it all along. We just didn't know it. My teacher told me, she says, teaching you Theta Healing is easy because I'm not teaching you anything new. I'm helping you remember something you already know. It's within all of us. And it stems from an infinite source of creation that is truly limitless, and we call it God. And it's just pure light. And that light is an explanation or a definition of unconditional love and forgiveness. And it's infinite. Theta healing saved my life. And it done so much more than that. It taught me that I am truly the master of my own life and it woke me up to the idea that I can love and I can be loved and I can accept that love. And so I'm learning to love myself just like the creator told me to. And I pretty much only attract people into my world that love me, honor me and cherish me as I choose to love, honor and cherish them. And I ask that God to send the love of my life to my life and it worked. And I met that angel, a soulmate, pure divine synchronicity in my life. I believe the meaning of life is loving God openly, willingly, and trustingly to the best of our human capability. And it's really simple to find your life purpose. Do what turns you on, whatever fulfills you, whatever gets you excited and you feel that joy in your life, that's your purpose. That's your passion. Whatever you're passionate about, don't hold back. Run with it. It will lead you right to your life purpose. And if you hang in there and you don't give up on you, for you, you can do anything. I was dying. I was alone. I was scared to death to be a single parent father. And I got through all of that. The light is pure love. And if you willingly, openly, and lovingly choose to accept and present that in your life, the law of attraction says you get what you give. If it's anger, then you're gonna get anger back. If it's hatred and prejudices, that's what's coming back to you. If it's resentment, that's what's coming back to you. If it's love, guess what's coming back to you. Now in the end of the journey, as I walk towards that, I realize the reason to live and love is within me, for me, and within you, and you, and everyone on this planet if we seek it. Because the hope that humanity seems to need right now, it's within all of us. Every human being on this planet is a walking representation of that light. I don't believe that there's a wrong or right way to find God. I don't think God cares how you find it, only that you do. I think that if people could open their eyes and look at the person right in front of them and literally with all that they have, with all that they can muster and say, I love you just the way you are, will you love me back? That they would find immense hope. I think it's that simple. And I now know that any of us can choose in any way that we want to learn this expression of life and experience it as that light. That is the very thing that will heal your body. It will heal the love that is within you and open you up to this light to experience life exactly how we want to. If you follow your bliss, if you follow your passion, you will find your purpose and find a fulfillment that is beyond description. 
If you only had one year to live and you knew you had one year left, what would you do with that precious time? Why aren't you doing it now?